Ladies and gentlemen, inside here you will find a $1,000 iPhone 6S case. Nah, I'm not gonna show you yet. So yeah, there's a $1,000 iPhone 6S case in that little box there. Unfortunately, I can't make the video because I don't have an iPhone 6S. I actually did a giveaway on a 6S and a 6S Plus back in September or in October, so I'm fresh out of iPhones. So now we're gonna go to the Apple Store and pick one up so I can make the video. But first, we gotta have breakfast. Just finished eating, before we head out to the mall, gotta put on some clothes. Much better. She always does this. I do not. We're just going to the mall. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> to the Northridge Mall and I just realized that it's the day after Black Friday and it's extremely packed. People, people everywhere. But yeah, I have no choice. I have to get the phone now so I can work on the video this weekend. So I'm just gonna tough it up. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. It's always a great feeling unboxing something brand new. Don't you think? Voila! Brand new iPhone 6S and Space Gray. Alright, so I got both of the iPhone 6S and the titanium iPhone 6S case. And all I'm gonna be waiting for right now is the skins from D brand so I can start on this video. It's gonna be a very interesting video I should say so hopefully I'll be done with this and get it to you guys by Wednesday hopefully so since I'm waiting for the skins from the brand um, I'm gonna take this time to work on the setup wars video for this coming Monday and also for the following Monday because I'm gonna be leaving for Canada on December 4th to the 6th for the LG's dream setup party so I need to get those videos done before I head out so uh, actually, before I begin the Setup Wars video, I picked this thing up, the leveler or level ruler, whatever it's called, and I'm going to go ahead and straighten my uh, acoustic foams because I told you guys many times that it's crooked and it's bothering me, so finally today I have some time to take it apart and then straighten them, or at least make them as parallel as possible to the table and to the monitor, so let's do this. So yeah, as expected, there is some uh, pieces left over from the tape. And honestly, it's not as bad as I expected. This is, uh, this is doable, but yeah, a warning for anyone that's gonna be using some 3M uh, spray adhesive. This is what's gonna happen to your wall. You have some pieces of foam stuck to it that you can either scrape off or, well, you're gonna have to scrape this off, of course and then repaint the wall. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape some of these off and then go ahead and put these on the right way. All 
right, so after an hour of scraping, I managed to peel off the large foams that are sticking out. These are just, um, I guess, uh, some of the pieces that's left over, but that's completely fine because I'm just going to go ahead and glue these um, over them, so it's not really going to be an issue. So I figured out the problem. Check this out, guys. So this is technically straight, according to the ruler. Check it out. That is perfectly centered. My subscriber plaque is perfectly centered. And basically all the cushions are perfectly centered, as you can tell. Now, moving back, putting this on my monitor, it is perfectly centered. Now, check this out. I put it on my table, and it's not perfectly centered. So this entire time, my table is either crooked or it's the floor. But because of that, this won't really look parallel to the floor. It will only look parallel to the monitor. As you can tell, the bottom portion of the monitor and the desk or even the speaker, you can tell it's kind of off. So yeah, that's driving me crazy and I swear I can never win. But you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this up because it's already halfway done. All right, so I decided to cover the entire top row, as you can see, and then maybe add some on the side. So I'm just gonna go with the flow and see what happens. This is what I came up with so far. It looks pretty cool. I guess. So everything's straight. I mean, everything's, I don't know. It's, it's weird, but, but yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know what else to tell you guys. Um, I use the ruler. It's straight according to the ruler, but either the ground or the wall is crooked, but overall I'm happy with the design. I think this looks pretty cool. I'm just gonna leave it at that and stop messing with it. I'm gonna have to raise the left side a bit more to make it uh, make it even. But I don't know, I'm done, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed these, make sure to hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video.